As you can probably tell from the title, this is not about Honda NC750X. It's nearly Christmas and it's time to make presents. And this video is a sample of what you'll find on my hobby channel. On this channel, I've got woodwork and metalwork hobby stuff. You can see a link in the description. In this video, I'm going to make a planter dog out of aluminium. It's almost Christmas and this is going to be a Christmas present. It's so much better to put some of yourself into a present rather than just buy it. I've bought a small pot and I've drawn out some pieces that I'm going to cut out in aluminium. I'm not all creative. I got my inspiration from a picture on the internet. The first task is to make a band that the pot will sit in. I'm not smart enough to be able to design this mathematically, so I'm using a, a manual CAD design called PAD, Paper Aided Design. By running my fingers around the edge of the pot, I get a mark that I can then cut out. Once I'm happy with that, I simply tape it up to keep it in place. And then I can take the pot out, get my scissors, and cut around the mark. With that done, I'll just work out how wide I want to make that band. Yeah, about that. That'll do. Alright, let's cut that out. And then give it a test fit. Okay, here goes. Look at that. A miracle. That'll do me. Now, having traced the piece of paper on my piece of aluminium, I can just cut it out on the bandsaw. This is just an ordinary hobby bandsaw, but it's got 16 teeth to the inch on the blade, so it cuts aluminium quite well. Everyone knows that using a hammer always makes things better. So I tap away on the hammer to create the curve. It's time to weld it up. Now, I'm just a self-taught backyard tinkerer, but I really do find sticking aluminium together to be quite satisfying. I'm using an Everlast ACDC TIG welder. It's just an entry-level model, but I find it perfect for my purposes. Now comes the critical part. Does it actually fit? Oh well, here goes. Ooh, look at that. Well, hmm, you can't quite see it, but yep, it fits. I'm using some spray adhesive. Just to spray on the back of the paper that I've got the parts drawn on. And I'm going to actually stick that to the aluminium. This will make it easy for me to cut the parts out on the bandsaw. I'm using 3mm thick aluminium. The bandsaw cuts it reasonably well. As you can imagine, a bandsaw blade doesn't cut around these sharp corners. So I've got to take it a little bit at a time. Cutting down the straight sections, using just the front of the blade to just go around that corner at the top, cut down the straight section, and then move back, cut the piece out, And again, just cut a little bit at a time. Just using the teeth of the blade to just cut those little pieces down and smooth it out to the curve. It takes a bit of patience, but 
I'm not being paid for this, so time's not of any value to me. Here are all the bits cut out, ready to be stuck together with the welder. I'm going to give the nose piece a bit of a contour, so I've just drilled a little hole in a piece of wood, and using the back of the hammer, just gently tap away until I get a bit of a contour on the nose. Nothing technical, just a little bit of a curve. I've given all the parts a bit of a clean, and now it's time to start tacking them together. I've got my welder set at about 100 amps maximum on the foot pedal, and 100 hertz. Of course I'm no expert, but I found this works for me. Well, it's coming along. Sorry about the camera angle, but you can see the parts are starting to come together. You can see that he's coming along nicely. I've used marbles for eyes and I've just inserted them into some aluminium tubing. Looks quite effective. I'm cutting out little toes from quarter inch aluminium rod. I've got to make 16 of these. Using my third hand to hold the toe down, I carefully start welding the toes to the foot. Well, look at that, I've advanced two feet. Whoops, minus one toe, better fix that. I've welded his legs and his tail on, and now for his neck. Got to get it in just the right place so that his expression is correct. Having just tacked him in what I think is the right place, I can now make some small adjustments before I weld it properly. Yep, I reckon that looks pretty good. I'll weld that up. Okay, that looks good enough for a backyard botch up. Alrighty then, I think that's a done job. Let's just test that pot, make sure it fits properly. Yep, all looks pretty good. One down, and one more to go. Christmas is so commercial that I think if you can put yourself into the present, it makes it so much more meaningful. And besides, this project was fun to build. So it's wins all round. <laughs>